I'd come here to meet a man I vowed never to see again. He was vain, arrogant, selfish, but his brilliance was still irresistible. He was also dangerous, never to me. But this evening began for both of us a slide into horrors unimaginable, a descent into a corner of hell. Yes, Doctor. I'm ready for you. I thought for a minute your bell didn't work. This way, Doctor. Mr. Sebastian has been expecting you. Tastes have changed, but unfortunately, not your manners. You did send this telegram. I need you, signed William Sebastian. Just three words, I need you, and I come racing across the entire country. You know why? Because I know your ego. For you to say I need anyone has to mean you're in desperate trouble. But it looks like you haven't done badly. I don't suppose any of this is paid for. No, of course not. You just wanted it. Neither of us has done very well apart. I haven't done badly, really. Did you know that your hospital is scheduled a hearing on the 15th to discuss your problem? My problem? What problem? If you're talking about my taking a social drink now and then? And then there's all the business with the nurses. I can understand about the young ones, but an old crow like Hadley, did you really have to propose to him? I did not propose. The woman assumed I proposed. How did you know all this? No, 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 I won't ask. You know, you haven't changed a bit. Why? Come with me to London. No. Tonight. No. Ham, this case is so complex, so bizarre, that it's literally unexplainable in normal, sane, rational terms, even to you. Come with me on blind faith. By the time it's done, we'll have answers in criminal psychology that'll revolutionize the field. I'll find my own way out. Ham. No. Ham, the telegram was true. I need you. Have a look at that. That's not normal scar tissue. No, it's not. The heart was made to stop beating. Made to stop? My housekeeper, whom you met, Lilith, brought me back, saved my life. See the heart here. 
where it's deformed, distended like a hole. Is there something to shove through it? Well, there's no foreign object there. No, there's not. Because it isn't there. It's in a doll. Unfortunately, I can't find the doll. I'll live for a few years. If I sit right here, no work, no physical exercise, no projects, no women. That'll be our car to the airport. You're in no condition to travel. Not without you holding me down on a tight leash. William, the hospital is justified in worrying about me. You need better attention than a compulsive drinker can give The you. condition is being corrected by my housekeeper. Miss Anitra Sion. This is Mr. Sebastian. Miss Sion. How do you do? How do you do? This is Dr. Hamilton. Oh, I've heard of Dr. Hamilton. And your work together. Please sit down. Thank you. Your secretary said that you and I would be meeting in London. That you were sending the family jet for me tonight, I thought. I decided to come over on it so that I could explain in person. Hmm. Mr. Sebastian, I wish to cancel our agreement. There's no need for you to fly over to see my brother. Oh, I'll pay any expenses you've incurred, of course. You see, when I asked you to kill my brother, or rather to destroy what I thought he'd become... Ham, would you excuse us for a moment? Yes. Of course. Please. Lovely primitive art, but it's only superstition. I don't know how I let myself believe any of it. I love my brother. I won't embarrass him any further. You wrote that he welcomed my investigation. He hoped that you would ease my mind, convince me that the things I thought I saw were just figments of my imagination. Now I know I've been wrong. In your letters, you described incidents that were clearly paranormal. No. I describe things I only thought I saw. I can explain everything now. I've corresponded with Dr. Quayless about you. You know that. He was interested in Sion House and the entire family long before you first wrote to me. Yes, my brother is different. Well, he's had to be strong. Yes. Mitri and I, we were children when our parents died. Jeffrey had to take care of us. Everything he's built, he shared equally with us. Mm -hmm. he... Tell me. I'd rather not sit. I'm so ashamed. I haven't been honest with you or with myself. I was deceiving myself. I was fascinated by you. I wanted to meet you. I sound like a schoolgirl. Drink, Doctor. Yes. While you wait, sir. Yes. A spike drink? Is that your so-called cure? But you've already been cured, Doctor. I put a spell on you. Uh -huh. Well, here's your spell. Dr. Hamilton is, uh, I can't leave him out there. Send him away, please. There's a book I want him to read. Uh, I'll find it and 
Get rid of him. Book of Tobit. Where's that woman? Where is she? She was never here. What's happened? What we saw was a succubus. Don't be ridiculous. The woman was here. Where is she? It's an imp, a minor demon. It takes the form of a provocative woman to tempt men through lust, seduce them. What's all this junk in here? Corrupt them. William, what have you done to yourself? What's happened to you? You know, William, I love you like a brother. But I've always considered your brilliance just a razor's edge between sanity and madness. If I find out you've harmed anyone... You'll see that I'm put away. Yes. Agreed. Master? Yes. How do you do? I'm Mitri Sion. Pilot Jeff's plane, if that doesn't bother you. No, it doesn't bother me at all. Mr. Sion, this is Dr. Hamilton. He's going to be going with us. How do you do? How do you do? You brought your sister with you, of course. Annie? No, Doctor. Why, do you know my sister? I thought I met her last night. <laughs> be extremely difficult. I left her at home in England. Somebody must have been putting you on, Ham. <laughs> Gentlemen. Jet holding at 30,000. Thank you. Out. Soft drinks for us, gentlemen. But can I fix you with something a little more interesting? No, thank you. Someone put something in my drink. That's not true. My stomach is slightly upset. Right. The role of the succubus is carnal temptation. Why was it sent to kill me? William, there is no such thing as a succubus. Or to test me. Find out how determined I was to come to Cyan out. Thank you, London Radio. Cyan Jet, out. Your sister sounded puzzled by that call. Puzzled myself. Something the doctor said. About Annie. I just spoke to her on the radio telephone and she's at home at Scion House. Someone was putting you on. The odd thing is she had facial structure very similar to yours. Quite lovely, quite physical, quite shapely. <laughs> oh, no, that's way off. She's rather bony, old maidish. Peter, yes, what are you...
nothing on the instruments. Must be found something wrong with the electrical system. Interesting. First carnal temptation, now threat of death. Are you saying someone's doing this purposely? No, not someone. This is a malfunctioning human built machine. Sorry if it's a bit dark like that, gentlemen. But we're using battery power for cabin light. Our wing lights have gone too. Suppose I prove to you the supernatural exists. Seatbelt, please. My friend, we've spent our entire adult lives studying the criminal mind, haven't we? The abnormal, the deviant. Remember how we puzzled over the Manson case? Specs killing the eight nurses? Crime after crime with no apparent rational cause. Why don't you fasten your seatbelt? After you left, I kept asking myself if there wasn't something else, some other factor that we hadn't considered. Scion jet, losing power and descending to read. Have listened to me. I've seen these things myself. I made an agreement with such a force once in the Aleutian Islands, half believing testing it. When it actually appeared to me, the acts expected of me were unspeakably vile. I was revolted and I was frightened. I went back on the agreement, and this was done to me. Mayday, Mayday, come in, China. What's happening? Everything reads normal. We've lost all power. Try boosters again. don't deny that many of the world's oldest legends have been proved to have basis in fact. I will admit that some old medical legends have proven to have some sense behind them. Why do the world's races hold almost identical beliefs in these things? Scientists would say the only logical explanation is that they are reporting things that they have actually seen. Glimpses of worlds that overlap ours. If I can't see something, or at least see some evidence of it. People do make contact from time to time. And these things have the ability to contact us. We've even given them names. Mammon, Beelzebub, Asmodeus, Leviathan, Asteroid. What the devil? Yes, exactly. I'm sorry you have to go through all this, just because it happens to be directed at me. Are you saying because it's failed to frighten you, it's given up? Perhaps merely a reminder of how sweet a full life would be if it were offered to me. If it were offered. That's luck. The shakes wait until now. Never mind, we got here. Magnificent job. Ah, Sid. This is my brother's chauffeur. Sid, would you take these gentlemen on to Scion House? I'm afraid I shall have to stay behind, look into the trouble we had with the engines. Sir. Excuse me. Thank you.
Here you are, sir. She's extraordinarily sensual. I doubt that she's another succubus, if that's what you mean. Yes, there's a stop I'd like to make first. Merlin's Muse, number three. Yes, sir. Interesting. She was already headed in that direction. I know these gentlemen. Inspector Cabell, it's good to see you again. You remember Dr. Hamilton? I'd heard that you two had broken up. No, no, think of thieves. What brought all of you here so soon? You're the same twosome, all right. You jumped the scene before me, and then you have the gall to question me as to why I'm here. A neighbor heard screams and saw the place afire. We flew in an hour ago. I had an appointment to see Dr. It's all right Ellison. to come in now, sir. They'll have danced it in a moment. Right. Well, come along, then. I'll need a statement from you in any case. It's called a pentacle. From the position of the body when we came in, he was trying to get into it when he died. And your interest in Quailers, certainly not this occult nonsense he dabbled in, eh? Mm. We've had our disputes, but I still rank you as one of the world's leading criminologists. One of, can you imagine that? Sidna, will you 
take the luggage along to Stein House. The inspector insists that he will bring us. You're sure you saw nothing? We saw neither man nor animal. Has any theory been formed about the killer? Oh, obviously a madman. Makes himself up to frighten these victims before he kills them. Did the victims have anything to do with Sir Geoffrey Sion, like uh, business rivals? My answer is off the record, of course. In fact, there were some such connections. You know, this Quailer's killing doesn't fit that pattern at all. Why not? Well, he was far from wealthy. And as for being influential, quite the opposite. Most of London now considers him an old fraud. Claimed he could work spells and such, if you can believe that. Ridiculous. I must put an official question to you, Sebastian. Do you have reason to believe that Sir Geoffrey Sign is behind any of these killings? I have no reason to believe that Sir Geoffrey Sign is behind any of these killings. No. You seem relieved. Sir Geoffrey is quite close to several members of the cabinet, isn't he? This is England. No one is above the law. Was it some kind of a castle? It was called Kentworth Abbey. He spent millions refurbishing it. I'm told it's no longer very abbeyish inside. Inspector, we'll be in touch. Telling lies to our police friends? I said we saw neither man nor animal, which is true. And I don't believe Sir Geoffrey Sion, the man, is responsible for any killings. you right into bed. It's like something being twisted. A physical movement. The maid will take your coats, gentlemen. Thank you. Welcome to Sion House. I'll tell Sir Geoffrey you're here. We're here to meet Miss Anitra Sion. We're her guests. Sir Geoffrey is master here, sir. That's very beautiful. Yes.
me. Sir Geoffrey will see you in a moment, sir. Well, thank you very much for coming over. I think it's been a most satisfactory meeting. You okay? Thank you. General. Goodbye. The chef is outside. Is there anything I can do to make you journey back? Your meeting is satisfactory. Is there anything I can get you? A slight accident, sir. Sir Geoffrey, this is William Sebastian. I'm Dr. Hamilton. I prefer to be addressed by my family name. Zion. Zion, then. May we see your sister? Oh, yes. Annie invited you, but I shall have to pay you for your services. What's your price? I'd like your boucher. The Venus reclining. <laughs> we appreciate a sense of humor here, gentlemen. This painting costs me over 200,000 pounds. 200,000, 270 to be exact. Don't be ridiculous. We'll take the 150,000 in cash, less the damage cabinet, of course. Sebastian, if you can convince my sister, prove that her fears are justified, this painting is yours. Fail, you receive nothing. Convince and prove what? Oh, Mr. Sebastian and I understand the terms. Perhaps so, but I'd like to hear the terms of that agreement stated precisely. Dr. Hamilton speaks for me in our negotiations. His business judgment is far superior to mine. The cash, then. And since your sister began the negotiations with Mr. Sebastian, I think she should be a party to any agreement. It is fortunate, Doctor, that my sister isn't right about me. You'll meet Annie now. I've had dinner held for your arrival. Carved ivory coffin box. I don't recall owning such an object. Mm. Mitri. Oh, uh, I'm sorry I'm late, Jeff, but uh, had a little trouble with the engines tonight. But uh, I couldn't find anything wrong with them. Mm. I do hope it wasn't too upsetting. I found it extremely illuminating. Anitra. Mr. William Sebastian, Dr. Hamilton, my sister, Anitra. Welcome to Cyan House, Mr. Sebastian. Good evening. Dr. Hamilton. How do you do? The price is high, Annie. I hope you get our money's worth. Do you have a younger sister or perhaps a close relative in the United States? Neither, Doctor. Problems, Doctor? No, no. None at all. Well, Annie, shall we have it all out in the open? The shrewd doctor wants his employment terms spelt out. As you wish. Mr. Sebastian must prove that there is some evil here and that I am under its influence. Or convince you that it is merely my lifestyle that offends your puritanical sensibilities. What about it, my girl? Am I one of the devil's boys? Oh, much, much worse, sir. See, gentlemen, I make no apologies for living openly what most men do in secret. Shall we drink to Mr. Sebastian's success? Just a moment, please. Splinters. If you drank that... Which of you decanted the wine? It's the old crystal, man. It's true, it's become brittle with age. Something wrong with your drink too, Doctor? No, no, I don't drink much these days. In that case, let me have yours, Ham. If you'll all permit me to make a toast. Condenea et atiduis et ultra deum 
Santos Deum, Exoristum Infinitum. Can you explain this, Mr. Sebastian? I'm sure there's a perfectly rational explanation. We're having some trouble with the main gate, sir. The uh, sonic control seems jammed. Your front gate is controlled by high-frequency sonic waves, which caused the old and brittle glass to shatter, simple enough. Your glass didn't shatter. Shall we go on with dinner? be all. I'm very grateful you're here. Did you believe my letters? I did, but not all their conclusions. Do you believe my brother is possessed? That may be a great deal more complex. I need time. Doctor, you had some question about a younger relative in America. Yes. Did you see me there? Yes, at least a version of you. Was I pretty, uh, desirable? Yes. So it's obvious you saw someone quite different from myself. I find the present version quite attractive. It's a charming compliment. I've not had many compliments lately. Is there anything else you want, madam? Get out! Jeff's maids make other women rather unnoticeable. Are you jealous of them? Sebastian? No, no, that's a fair question. Did I write to you out of jealousy? I wouldn't want to hurt my brother just because I disapprove of his lifestyle. I'm not certain that I do totally disapprove. As Jeffrey makes perfectly clear, I'm rather spinsterish. I wish I were not. I think I envy that version you saw of me. I do envy some things about the young women employed here. I think they should envy you. There's nothing lovelier than honesty. It's much more likely to frighten men away, Doctor. But I love my brothers very much. Whatever it is that's happening here, Petrie is being corrupted. Now, Jeff, we may already be lost. I, I hope not. Oh, I beg you, save what you can of them. Destroy whatever it is that's doing this. Do you understand that what you're asking me may be beyond my abilities? Yes, but if you can, Kill all of us at Zion House, or you will do it. If you'll excuse us, he needs rest. Oh, Mitri, will you see them up? I'll say good night. Brandy before bed, gentlemen. Yes, bed. What we need most. three years ago? Entire structure? Yes. Started with the new wine cellars for Jeff and he just went on rebuilding. Really, I'm terribly sorry, Doctor. That's quite all right. 
Oh, and I, I hope you don't mind water beds, Doctor. No. That's all we had uh, joining Mrs. Sebastian's room. This room mine's like a bordello. I'm the bed friend. What do you make of Anitra? Well, regardless of what she's written you, she seems normal enough. In fact, interesting. She has almost everything her other version had. Careful. Sounds like you're close to admitting you did see a succubus. Well, as you said, at dinner, everything has a logical explanation. High frequency sound, brittle crystal. And a toast that was an old curse against demons. One of them couldn't drink to it. Can you explain why all their glasses shattered? Well, it could scarcely give itself away, either by refusing the drink or shattering just its own glass. It, and whatever it is, could be any one of the three of them. Old Coptic script. Well, this knew someone might be after the information. He's used it like a shorthand. Just a light tranquilizer. First entry is dated just over three years ago. Have just returned from Druid's fire pit where Cyan house excavations have brought up artifacts which disturb me greatly. This one, a few months later. I can feel a marked change in Sion. What has he found here? Now, listen to this one. My greatest fears are realized. A is free, bound and helpless for over 2,000 years. But he has been freed. I am desperate to warn Sion, but he will not listen. Has A taken him already. A? I dare not write his true name, but this is his mark. In the top hierarchy of demons, are Beelzebub, Belial, Leviathan, and the name that Quintus feared to write, Asmodeus, Prince of Lechery, Lord of Corruption. down the chimney? I do not believe in this nonsense. Asmodeus. See? Coincidence, a gust of wind. No, it responded to me directly. What are you doing here? What an awful thing to say. You haven't enjoyed my company. I've been asleep all night. Well, you can't use that excuse now, can you? <laughs> you choose. Are you a succubus? No, but it has a nice sound to it. that 
Did you ring, sir? We'll have such lovely evenings. You'll find so many ways to be happy. Would Daddy like a drinky? I thought you told her never to play at the bar. She needs a lesson, Daddy. I'm so sorry. Am I interrupting? No, no, they're just leaving. No, as a matter of fact, they, they just got here. I... I'm hardly awake. Perhaps another time, ladies. Move! I've been awake two minutes, at most. Two minutes and accomplished all that. That's amazing. You might have found it more entertaining than the staircase, Ham, but it's just as dangerous. That. That's what woke me. Get some clothes on. Why would they call this one fire pit? Those sounds. Women. Animals. For a stroll, gentlemen. We heard noises from that circle. Oh. Let's have a look. <laughs> the wind makes odd noises around here at times. Of course, it could have been the hounds. No, I'm positive. I had no idea we were trespassing. Not at all. But I wouldn't come out here again in the future, gentlemen. These hounds could be dangerous. This way, gentlemen, please. Financiers? Not the kind that simply own things. They control world markets. Oh. You saved yourself a climb. Inspectors learned that Coilus kept a journal. You'll be tempted to arrest you, William. They treat evidence very seriously here. No. Once he finds what's in this journal, he'll wish we'd kept it. be more than half an hour. I'll be waiting, sir. Ah, Sebastian. Dr. Hamilton. 
Uh, so much for a policeman's life. I imagine you've learned by now that Quayle kept a journal. Get yourself cleaned up. I'll be out shortly. Yes, sir. Removing evidence from the scene of a crime, Mr. Sebastian. Has saved you days of red tape and a very expensive translation. Do you want our help in this or not? I hope this doesn't include some foolishness about Sir Geoffrey. Yeah. I thought the Home Office might give you a call on that one. As you said, this is England, and no man is above the law. It's uh, just that some men are above being annoyed. Unless you have a mountain of evidence against them. Have you deciphered this writing, Sebastian? Principally, it's a record of Quayle's concern over certain activities at Druid's fire pit. It's a house. Does it say there's something going on at Cyanhouse? That depends whether one believes in demons and all that nonsense. What kind of demons does it describe? Just one, a top hierarchy sort. The Prince of Lechery. Does this jolly chap have a name? Asmodeus, when he corrupted humans, usually through lust, these corrupt people became capable of changing their physical shape during certain black uh, rituals. There was supposed to have been some kind of uh, sexual release involved in the metamorphosis itself. Are you saying Sion imagines himself possessed? Well, according to legend, Asmodeus does not possess he takes the form, the image of someone, some human who's died, whose body's never been found. Are you implying sign as our madman? He costumes himself, goes out and kills. At the time of the first murder, sign was at a UN committee conference in Paris. Murder number two, he was in Angola. Good. Then we agree. If there is no evidence, sign could have done it. So there's no reason I should bother him. No evidence? What do you think that journal is I've just given you? Yes. Yes. You'll find my translation in the back pages. Do you know there are no less than five separate sources, all of them in ancient Coptic, that make reference to Asmodeus having established quite a foothold in these islands during the 6th century BC. But the rites, the uh, ceremonies of his followers, disciples, if you will, became so bloody, so uh, obscene that the Druids and the other priesthoods, who'd always been at odds with one another, finally banded together against him. They tricked him eventually, sealed him up, supposedly forever in a secret place. Coelus believed the secret place was Druid's fire pit until three years ago when the demon was freed. Accidentally, of course, when Zion was excavating new cellars. Very interesting. Uh, now I think I'll muddle along without any further help. Thank you, Ham. You're becoming a bit of a believer. I'm only trying to keep an open mind. Flat treble clef. More like that? Yes, I'd say more like that. It's one of yours. How did you guess? What are you doing? 
doing flying an airplane. <laughs> it's Jeff's idea. No, well, that's not entirely fair. I have gone through my RAF training, and why pay another pilot when there's already one in the family? You help run the family business. Oh, no, no, no. Jeff's the financial wizard. He's already increased our holdings a dozen times, and he's only just begun. Still, you and your sister each own a third of Cyan family interests. Yes, but uh, with me and Jeff voting together, or rather me backing him, I'm afraid that Annie's vote doesn't really count for much. I think that that is uh, very much a part of her annoyance with things here. It's incredible what Jeff's done in the last few years. Well, the possibilities are staggering if it continues like this. It's amazing, whatever he wants, he seems to get. Suddenly, he's developed a kind of personal magnetism. Other people's weaknesses. I was only bragging about him, wasn't I? Mr. Sebastian's job here is to quiet the superstitious fears of our beloved sister. That and that only. Or would you prefer to see her committed? that Anitra's got some strange ideas. She's going insane, you young idiot. Like you, she has a rather modest intellect. Have you begun wondering if I'm possessed, dear brother? I have wondered if it's Anitra who's going mad. Excuse me, Mr. Sebastian. And what is your opinion of me, Mr. Sebastian? I am impressed. And I see unusual qualities in you. Just as you've checked up on me, I've accumulated information on you. Your intelligence quotient, the phenomenal memory, and an ego which suggests a certain ruthlessness. I'd find that valuable in an associate. Would you? I promise you, you will never regret joining me. Are you about to invite him into your club? That is enough, Annie. No, there's much more. Anitra! I wrote to you about his obscene hellfire club, Mr. Sebastian. I warn you, it's if you can. It's a very select membership. Oh! It's me. There's something in me. She's <laughs> The ambulance is on its way, sir. Well, you can cancel it, officer. Dr. Hamilton is handling it nicely. In fact, expertly. Must be a comfort to have him close. Any witnesses? One of the hounds. Gored! And thrown over there. He has a gash across his entire chest. The rip in his arm is very deep, and of course he's badly bruised. He was lucky to have a doctor at hand. Can I have a word with him? Yes. Mr. Sign, can you describe your assailant? I didn't see anything. I stepped in, and something struck me from behind. Lord, I remember calling for help. Mitri. Was it a man? Was it an animal thing? It is important that we know. I've asked him he doesn't remember. I think he should sleep now. The disciples of Asmodeus are capable of great physical change. Oh, Sebastian, please. The change in each individual depends upon the person's inner lusts, vices, animalistic tendencies. And these people change back and forth, having a jolly time, eh? Asmodeus pays them very richly for their devotion. Each time they become human again, they grow stronger physically, sexually, their worldly affairs prosper. Sebastian, that's quite enough for me. I can give you several reference books. Quailus Journal doesn't really cover it all. I have your expertise, Sebastian. You at least leave a constable on duty outside. If his attacker may return. Very well. Oh, keep me informed of Mitri's condition, Doctor. With the constable on the ground, Sign will have to pen up his dogs. We can have a closer look at those ruins. What about that attack on Mitri? It puzzles me. We're being
being manipulated. Maybe it wants us at the ruins now. It knows we're coming. We'll have to protect ourselves the best way we can. Symbols involve dimensions that are as real to them as walls or doors are to you and me. How old is that? It looks priceless. Very nearly. Why must you always own the best of everything, William? You can buy a cross in any gift shop. This should possess extraordinary power. It was worn and blessed by saintly men for over nine centuries. If you have a religious object of your own, I suggest you carry it. Well, this, plus my nickname, Ham, should shake up any demon. It's good to be together again. Did I say that? Dozens of times. Back stairway, I think. Is not volcanic, more likely pitch beds underground. To its fire pit, the flames must once have been above the ground. It's no symbology, I understand. Here, put your light on this.
impossible for something to feel evil to the touch. Am I imagining it? Some sort of air conditioning system? Could be the geology itself. It's unstable here. nearly the late Dr. Hamilton. Well, I didn't have the expensive symbol. here. He broke into the caverns up there. The wine cellars must be there, behind the door. It must have been one of the workmen. This is it, the secret place, his own black cathedral. Whatever smashed these doors open was the thing that Jeffrey Sign set free. on that side. Find the other half of the seal. No, nothing. <clears throat> These doors must weigh tons. found the doors closed. The seal was intact when he broke it. And the thing was free after 25 centuries. A 
sacrificial altar. Dried blood. She's not even aware we're here. She doesn't appear to have any injuries. We'll get her down and examine her. Leave it alone. It's too much at stake. William. Deus will control more and more political and material power. I can't let you go to London. I mean it. Then you have to go. I need a saw, a jeweler's saw and a file. Go to a gunsmith, find one, the best. Get from him everything we need to cut a piece of this, melt it, Pour it into a bullet mold to fit this barrel. A golden bullet? From the seal that imprisoned Asmodeus, yes. It won't destroy him, but it'll slow him down. And I need holy water from a baptism. And I need communion wine. It has to be blessed and blessed by a bishop. I'm not a witch from Macbeth. Then don't do it. All right. I'll try. If you rest. At least the bullet will stop any of Asmodeus's creature things. If Cyan is Asmodeus, then what human is his priest? That'll be the most dangerous of the disciples. The legends have it that he's... He takes the form of a great cat of some sort. Thank you. Keep the change. Thanks, Dr. Hamilton. Cyan reported his sister missing this afternoon. I'd say he doesn't seem too concerned. He states that she's been emotionally unstable. I don't believe Cyan's story. Dr. Hamilton, on your word as a physician, do you think there could be something to 
to the things in that Quailer's journal? Yes, I do. Then I need facts. Can you give me anything to go on? I can. There were workmen here three years ago excavating the cellar. It's my guess they all died. That's precisely the kind of thing I need. I'll be back with a court order. Anitra. <laughs> Just giving a proper party tonight. Mitri, your sister is missing. <laughs> if anybody's taken Annie, then he's the one in trouble. She could be in danger. Look, don't you realize that Annie's even stronger than Jeff? She's always saying that one day someone's going to realize that she's the real tiger in the house. <laughs> I wonder why Cyan reported her missing. To throw the police off? Perhaps because he intends the disappearance to be permanent. Could mean something else. Mitri just mentioned to me that she often refers to herself as the real tiger in the house. What? You said the priest's disciple has a cat form. A tiger? She was the one who brought us here. Now they'll feel, feel the power of it. I'll need it fast when I ask for it.
again. I will be served fully. Do Desmond Dance. I have served you well. I will be served fully. Fully. Become now. And now, Sebastian, be thou my priest. 
ไปเป็นวัน My Lord I will obey. Since you were thinking of hot tea, Doctor. Ah, you read my mind. And one thought I see there pleases me greatly. Asmodeus was not destroyed. We'll 
and see him again. Not a pleasant thought. You'll do better next time. Next time? You know, you stood down there actually considering Asmodeus's offer. Miss Anitra Sion, gentlemen. Miss Sion, what a delightful surprise. Dr. Hamilton. You really are extraordinarily lovely. <laughs> I'm uh, over here on family business, and I wanted to bring you an additional thank you present. The one you admired was burned with the house, of course, but... No, it's marvelous. It's even better. Excuse me, just for a moment. It's unfair. I should have bought you a gift as well. Really unnecessary. I... Yes? I suppose we could leave William to examine his prize. It's the apocryphal book of Tilbert, Ham. Yeah? Fourth shelf, right at the desk. It is Miss Sion. Relaxed and rested now. Well, you and I know that, but Ham doesn't. It should be an interesting session in there. 